Uh, buenas noches, bienvenidos, welcome, end of day four, how is everybody feeling? Ooh, yes. Yes. Um, luckily this is a, a film where you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy all the wonderful information and stories you're going to get. Um, I was When I was watching this film, I was thinking to myself, what was the first horror film that I ever saw? And I was like... I think it was Nightmare on Elm Street, and it was at a birthday party, and about half an hour into it, I got so terrified that I just ran outside and played on the trampoline. Uh, but luckily, I got over my fear. It took a few years. Um, and uh, so it's wonderful to, to hear different stories about how people got into horror film. We're very lucky to have the director of Cult of Terror, Gustavo Mendoza, with us today. Welcome, Gustavo. Bienvenido a Lutre, a Frefest. Um, so we're going to do an extended intro here, talk about it. Um, um, when did, obviously, you know, you're a great lover of horror cinema. So yes. um, what was the impetus for you to put together this documentary? Uh, I make a documentary, uh, a shortcut in VHS, 1986, about uh, horror, uh, Argentine horror. But uh, before, uh, no, after, <laughs> because my English is so poor, uh, make a documentary about Narciso Ibañez Menta was the Lon Chaney, uh, Spanish and Argentine. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the cinema festivals like this. This is my first time in, in London and the Freifest. And I'm going to go a uh, uh, lot of years of Sitges. It's the first. Yeah. And uh, the Balcans, uh, Argentina, España. And uh, tuve mucha ayuda de, de Nueva Zelanda, de bueno, gente de México. Yeah, a lot of people of different countries, such as Spain, because France, I'm, England, I'm a filmmaker independent, independent mm -hmm. uh, without money, uh, but uh, I enjoy to be here. Yeah, yeah, the idea that um, there's so <coughs> many stories throughout of these different uh, of fans and festivals, and how festivals really do keep alive, such as Sitges. If none of you have ever been to the Sitges Festival, you got to go someday in October. First of all, it's in the most beautiful town in the world. Um, secondly, it's just, you know, has amazing, amazing films. And yeah, Alan Jones, we all lo know and love Alan, or love and hate Alan at the same time. <laughs> and uh, he features very prominently, and Alan's been around for... Alan Jones was in, in Sitges. He's been, in, um, he's been going to Sitges for like 30 years. He's amazing. And uh, talked with him, and, and uh, uh, he says about the horror, uh, the, the other parts of time, <coughs> Mm -hmm. a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And talk with uh, a lot of people talks about other things like uh, Robert Englund mm -hmm. talks about the Fantasma de la Opera, Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. And, and uh, a lot of things about, about rock and roll. Rock and roll because in Spain uh, there are a band of rockabilly called Motor Zombies. Yeah. Uh, Motor Zombies. I don't know if anybody here know Motor Zombies. They they make rockabilly. Yeah. Rockabilly and Psychobilly. Yeah, yeah. And they are crazy because uh, he, he put a uh, mask like zombies mm -hmm. and they are <laughs> fucking crazy. Yeah, I know, I know. I've, I've, I've heard their music, I've never seen them live. Michael Stench, I think, is a big fan of theirs. Um, and it's. God, now I've completely lost my thought. Oh, I know what I was going to say, because Argentina. You know, it's sort of in South America. Argentina is the shining light, I think, of horror film. We get so. I think this is um, this is the second film today I've introduced from Argentina, and uh, or from an Argentinian filmmaker. And that certainly um, Argentina seems to stand out among countries in South America. Los países de Sudamérica, uh, in que horror es muy importante en el cine. Cinema from horror cinema is very important important in Argentina more than it seems other South American countries. Because uh, there are uh, a cinema festival like uh, called uh, Rojo Sangre or uh, Red Blood mm -hmm. is equal like this. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the people with uh, t shirt, black t shirt, uh, only think about horror, <laughs> uh, and, and they are crazy like me, and, uh, <laughs> and you, you too. <laughs> yeah. This is your producer? Uh, she's my wife, and he makes a uh, sound. Uh, oh, wow. Photography, so. so it's a team. Oh, okay. Well, welcome. And Maria? Thank yes, you. The, 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 <laughs> the other half of this wonderful documentary you're about to see. Um, how did you, when you were piecing, when you were putting it together, like the different parts, how did you conceive it? Uh, tu proceso para, um, 
gosh, I'm sorry, I've been learning French, so now my Spanish is going out the window. <laughs> Para editar, oh, for yeah. editing. Like, how did you how did you want it to go? It makes me, makes me crazy because uh, there are a lot of things to do. And, uh, in, I have uh, six editors, uh, four editors uh, work, working uh, to same time and the other two for finish and two for color and sound uh, and mine uh, who put uh, every every uh, part of, of the movie and it's so difficult mm -hmm. to make well, how, uh, how, how much the footage quantity. do you have quantos horas they uh, put 24 24 <laughs> oh wow that's that's a fair uh, amount no, no. No? Uh, 12 12 uh, okay but that's a lot of people talking, <laughs> no, which is great. You get people talking on this, talking on the stories. Were there some interviews that were easier or more difficult than others? Did you find? I algunas personas en el in el interviews que es más fácil o más difícil. Oh, it's very difficult. But in this movie, uh, we, you're gonna see to Bruce Campbell who is a, an actor <laughs> very difficult because he's a genius like like an actor. Mm -hmm. But when you come to to talk with him, he he don't uh, well, he, he not mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he, he he's he's it's so difficult to get him no, to, no, to no. yeah. El problema mío fue que también el festival de Sitges no él daba entrevistas a solo grupo de Medios importantes. Yeah. Y a mí no me conocía nadie. <laughs> yeah, he, you know, he, 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 Bruce doesn't like, only likes to talk to certain people uh, a lot of the time. Uh, I've never met him, so I, I, you know, I just heard the stories about him. But you know, obviously, he's huge in the horror community. Um, and sorry, it's day four. At the end of day four, and questions are going out of my Swiss cheese brain. I had just such a great time watching it, like all the different uh, people you've got. You know icons like Robert England and Dario Argento and yeah and Barbara Crampton. We all love Barbara here. Obviously, she's one of our favorite people. Nice. Yeah, and and you know and Mike Ostenshu is a very you know dear friend. I love him dearly. And uh, and and sit just sort of being quite the center of European genre film. I guess um, what what do you hope? Um, for the audience to to get from this film because obviously we're we're all connoisseurs of this cinema. Um, what what um, like uh, cuál es la um, cualidad que esperas que la audiencia audiencia recibir? Que ellos disfruten porque se van a sentir identificados porque es una de las cosas que habla esta película es que el fan del terror no tiene fronteras mm -hmm. y que somos todos iguales que nos gusta siempre lo mismo pensamos lo mismo y disfrutamos lo mismo, ¿no? Y no hay fronteras en el género de terror. Exactamente. There are no, no, uh, no frontiers. There's no frontiers, that's what I thought you in said. The, in the fun mm -hmm. uh, of, of horror. Yeah, that, I mean, we all, you know, we all love our horror. And uh, you are, I think, going to see some really great stories, great interviews, probably people we are familiar with, but others that... Uh, that you're not. Um, there are so many hidden people behind the scenes that uh, don't we don't hear from enough that have the best stories. I mean, Alan, of course, always loves to tell his stories at length, and you get, don't don't ever ask him about Richard Stanley. That's all. I, just, you don't want to go there. Um, and of course, Dario and Robert and all these people. And I don't want to give too I'm not away too much of what you're about to watch, but I think you're gonna. It's just yeah. I feel like it's just a wonderful collection of stories uh, that, you, that you've told. Um, and um, I think, yeah, we have to go. But thank you so much. Thank really you. hope you enjoy the film. I think Gustavo will be around. Estás en Londres para uno día más? Yes. One, okay. Five more days. Oh, fine. Yeah. So, you know, you'll be around yeah. Fright Fest. So if you guys want to talk to him, maybe he's got more stories that he didn't put on in the film that he can tell you. I don't know. Maybe you do secret stories. <laughs> gracias. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Uh, or super um, thank you and yeah enjoy the film and enjoy the last uh, 24 hours of fright fest <laughs>